Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Ungodly Hour Night Today Time Lapse Adventures. Let's do this. You have to excuse me, it was five o'clock in the morning and I didn't do a proper introduction on my video. Instead, I just shot a time lapse of me setting up. So, without further ado, my name is Michael Thomas, I'm a London-based time-lapse architecture, cityscape and travel photographer. And if you're a budding photographer and want to learn how to create better time-lapses, on my channel you will learn all about the techniques and the equipment I use to plan, shoot, edit and monetize time-lapse videos. And now let's get back into the time lapse that I was setting up and it took me I think about 20 to 25 minutes to decide where and what to shoot. Done! Everything is set up. Let me run you through the setup and the time lapse I'm trying to achieve today. Okay, so starting with SERP slider. This is the 1.6 meter slider. However, uh, I don't want the full movement. So I'm gonna be probably using about one meter of this slider only because this is the starting position. Uh, it's the Genie SERP slider and it's running in the intervalometer mode that the uh, slider is triggering the camera the camera is the nikon z6 with the 14 to 30 millimeter f4 to f22 lens and i've got the um, nissi nd 1.5 stops to 5 stops that i will be changing the power of this nd as the time progresses um, and everything else is controlled actually by a cheap HDC whatever phone that I've, I've had um, for, for like five years. It was given to my daughter by um, her, my sister-in-law and um, my daughter since then had an iPhone and just this old phone stayed with us. And as it's an Android QDSLR dashboard or as on Android it's called a control my camera is actually working. The problem with QDSLR dashboard is that at the moment on iOS devices like iPhones or iPads, whatever, uh, it just doesn't work. Hence, I've got this Android phone and the Android phone is not getting any images sent via Wi-Fi from the camera to the phone. It literally is connected via Wi-Fi and it's literally connected to change settings in between the intervals because I've set the camera in fully manual mode the uh, cable from the SERP slider is just literally triggering the camera while I'm going to be changing settings as the night turns into day, manually ramping it on the phone, which is the best way to avoid going, for example, like in the P mode that I taught you about in some previous videos, going from the extremes of F4 to F22. This way I can only start from 5.6 and the ISO level that I want and ramp it to, let's say, just ISO well, 100, but F11 or F16, rather than going to the extremes of F22. So I think this is the best way, but it is a manual ramping way that I will have to be well, ramping myself. And the best bit about today's setup, the funkiest sort of element of this time lapse that I believe, is that we're gonna be sliding through this gap in these um, railings. So I've got a tripod set up just on the other side of the railings. So as it starts here, it's gonna reveal tower bridge behind it uh, as it slides through this gap and to the other side of the railing, which should be really cool, I hope. And obviously the dog had to take a dump right next to my setup, but thankfully the nice lady did pick it up. Okay, it's something like half past five. Now I can start seeing some blue hour forming on the Canary Wharf sunrise side, but as today, I'm actually shooting with the sun, so I should see some blue hour happening behind Tower Bridge as the darkness changes into day, and then the first light starting to hit Tower Bridge and then extending down as the sun, sun rises and goes up, the light should be going down. It should be pretty cool, but it's not a typical sunrise shoot as I do actually pointing at the sun. This is a sunrise shoot with the sun, which should be different and pretty cool too and of course with this kind of a setup uh, I was a little bit worried that once the camera moves to the end of the slider and the weight 
goes really far on the tripod side uh, that it won't just tip over and uh, yeah I'll lose all my gear in the Thames so I've attached a leash around the tripod just as a security precaution so that the tripod will never move too far that way just in case it was about to tip as well as the end of this side of the slider is uh, tied down into a bag so just another precaution that um, just in case things were to go wrong but it feels pretty much well solid um, at the moment that I've set it up but just in case you always put um, safety measures to make sure that it won't tip over and just you won't lose all your gear into the Thames because that would not be cool and this was the first boat that I saw on the Thames that truly meant the day has started and look who joined us today no other than Charles both hemispheres good morning and Charles is the most amazing human being not just today but ever but today he's especially an amazing human being because he brought McDonald's <laughs> first thing in the morning after setting up a time lapse I am absolutely loving it not sponsored oh my god <laughs> yeah I'll have to agree with Charles now thinking in retrospect that was a terrible pun but at five or six o'clock in the morning without any coffee your brain works really differently and you find things funny that really are not Charles's setup is now also running. Um, he decided to go from just above me and sliding above the rail, but he's got a massive, much bigger slider than mine, more professional, and that's gonna be a pretty cool one too. Um, my slider at the moment is reaching about half the slide, just about to cross the uh, railing that I'm sliding through. It's, um, what time is it? About seven o'clock, soon to be sunrise. Um, there's no clouds that way uh, well you know it's gonna be a transition of colors and then the light will start hitting top of the skyscrapers and going down below sort of the from the top of tower bridge down so that should be a cool transition um, we hope we hope yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, we should all been shooting that way because it's looking beautiful last couple of clouds on the horizon ah uh, it's always that way that we don't shoot the right direction but it is what it is and look at this behind us we got some lovely pink clouds being lit up from the bottom just above tower bridge that will make a beautiful time lapse look at this tripod Right, let me tell you a story. It must have been a couple of three years ago, maybe yeah. four years ago when we first met with Charles and I was doing time lapses kind of just on the camera and basically just, you know, learning bits and pieces still about how to do time lapses. And then Charles told me, oh, one day you'll definitely be doing sliders, you'll get yourself a slider, all sorts of, you know, motion control set up. And I was like, Nah, do you know what? I'm actually okay with just static time lapses in one direction, or maybe at best I'll get myself a little panning device, which I eventually did. That was the uh, Serb Genie Mini that did the pans. And yeah, look at me now. <laughs> Big long ass slider motion control device, but it's still nowhere as pro as what Charles's stuff is, but. Look at this tripod. Just, oh, that tripod. Look at it. How amazing that looks. I need these legs. I like my PD legs, but these are the legs to have. <laughs> so the sun is up and uh, the slide is just past the railing. Tower Bridge is beautifully lit up with the city of London to the right. Uh, yeah, the time lapse is progressing fantastic as well as some of the clouds that we just had about half an hour ago absolutely stunning they should look great in the movement of time lapse it is 10 past 8 my time lapse is on its last 10 minutes coming to a close it's a beautiful day the weather worked out absolutely amazingly in our favor and i think that is it so glad you've uh, waited this long to see this time lapse and 
here it is. I'm quite happy of how it turned out. Arriving on site with enough time, I got to start the time lapse at full dark night time. Then it went into the blues and as I was passing the railing, the pink was happening in the sky above Tower Bridge and moments after I passed the railing, the sunrise hit the Tower Bridge and the city and it just looks beautifully. I hope that this clip will do really well as a stock clip hope you really enjoyed this video please subscribe leave a like because that all helps the channel grow and gets shown to more of you guys and i will see you in the next video